you for sharing your Friday afternoon with us here on Cabo Bay in LA. When we think of Friday, we think of the weekend. When we think of the weekend, we think of vacation. But why not take it further? Take two or three weeks off, maybe, or maybe even just one week off and visit Taiwan. That's what we did here on LA 18. And it was such an amazing experience this afternoon. We are talking about that, reviewing all the things that we did. Trust still joining us along with Jane and Victoria. Vicky is one of the smart uh, viewers of Cabo Bay in LA who actually took advantage of this special deal to get on to Taiwan. Uh, Vicky, anong, what made you, what convinced you to get on this trip? Oh, I, I saw it the, your ad in the Balita newspaper mm -hmm. and also I watched some of the videos of the Taiwan first group and, and I also called Jane for the itinerary of the trip mm -hmm. and she was, oh, she, was, she, has, she was able to convince me to come. Right, and because you know what, you don't need a lot of convincing Jane because it was such a great deal. Can you can you remember how much it cost? Like, like uh, almost seventeen ninety nine. Uh huh. And then inclusive all the food, meals, and the all the hotels, trips, hotel. Everything. The hotel was nice, by the way. And then you get uh, from LAX to Taiwan, and then from Taiwan to the Philippines. Philippines wow, really? You can't you can't beat that. And you know, I must have gained maybe one hundred pounds <laughs> because of all the food. There's so much to eat, and everything was good. Uh, trust. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Taiwan cuisine. What's so special about it? And you know, where do you get that? Is it, it's not quite Chinese food. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, you know, it's a mix. It, it is a mix. We mix we, from our Aboriginal tribe food, mm -hmm. Japanese food, Chinese food, and the local Taiwanese cuisine. Mm -hmm. That's why it makes it so unique. Right. And because Taiwan is, a, is such an island, right. and the people there is really love to R&D. They do lots of research and development on food. Oh. That's why you can enjoy lots of different kinds of cuisine, right. almost every corner of Taiwan. Right. And and some some of the most of the restaurants plant their own vegetables, I think, or they have their own farm, so everything was fresh, right? Yes. Jane, did you have anything to add to that? Yeah, we uh, went to um, the resort, mm -hmm. Hot Spring Yummy Hot Spring Resort, and we uh, we had a cuisine uh, lunch there. All the food was organic, planted in their own farms. Yeah, I remember that. All the vegetables were so sweet, and we found vegetables there, Vicky, that we don't normally eat in Filipino food, no? What's your favorite uh, food experience in Taiwan? Oh, I like the adobo pork. Adobo pork. It's very tender and tasty. Uh -oh. The Chinese adobo pork. Uh oh, oh. Yeah. And then that was at the Fisherman's Wharf, no? No, it's in the Yangming side. Yangming also. Okay, and then what else? Uh, and I like the oyster pancake with eggs. Okay, and that's in the night market. Noodles. Oyster yeah. noodles, yes. And this was my favorite. Speaking of noodles, the beef noodles. That's what, I always eat that when I'm here, and I wanted to eat the authentic one, and I found it in Taipei. Watch this. Also, when in Taiwan, do not forget to try one of their most popular dishes, and that is the beef noodle soup. And that's why we're here now at Yongkang Street Beef Noodle Shop. It's been here since 1963, and this is one of their specialties. Look at if you look at the meal, this is combination of meat and tendon, and it looks very spicy. I wonder how I like this. Why can't I find something like that here, like that <laughs> authentic? But you know, the, what fascinates me is that it's not just all about the food and the dishes. It's also about all the delicacies, the candies, the snacks. Taiwan has a lot of unique uh, snacks, right, Jane? Yeah, you can uh, actually, uh, night market is a symbol of uh, people's social sense in Taiwan for all ages. And they can play, shop, and eat in night market. And you can also see the, the vendor, how to prepare the fresh food in front of you. You can see the ingredients. When you go to pick, you are not sure which one you want to uh, eat, taste. Right. You just pick up the long queue. The longest line, that must be good. I would say 95 <laughs> out of 100, you will get satisfied. That's very smart. Did you do that? <laughs> yes. yes. I, I like to go to the long line and yeah. try the food also. Did you weigh yourself? Do you know how much you gained from uh, Taiwan? Oh, I gained about five pounds. Only. Five pounds. But you know what? There's so many other activities in Taiwan. It's not just eating. It's not just shopping. We're going to be talking about that when we return on the show. But before, very quickly, before we go, um, trust tips on dining in Taiwan. Uh, how about 
the 10 best gourmet restaurant in the world, the Ding Tai Fung restaurant, oh, Dumpling House. We tried that. 10 best restaurant in the whole world. We tried that. Yeah, I tried it. That. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Yes. Stated by New York Times. Yes, stated by New York Times. Wow. Yeah. See, we ate there. Yeah. And I also ate here. It was so good. Uh, of course, you always have to leave room for dessert. And this is what I did. And you see this being offered a lot in Los Angeles, but if you ever find yourself here in Taiwan, why not try the original thing? We are still here at Yongkang Street where we have F&B Gourmet Group where they serve the original mango shaved ice. Let's try it out. Really good. I put it in my mouth and it just melts and it tastes amazing.